All right, y'all. So, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, in today's video, we got a very hot topic. We got something hot to talk about, something spicy, you know what I'm saying? Some crazy. So, am I selling Mamba? I know you guys want to know what's my decision. Um, have I made a decision yet? Um, as the day that I'm recording this video, I actually just dropped the video telling you guys that I'm thinking about selling the car. And the responses have been kind of mixed in the in the comments so far, man. Some people are telling me to sell Mamba. Some people are telling me to keep Mamba. Some people are saying go 6th Gen Camaro. I never said I was getting a Camaro still. Um, but a whole bunch of people are telling me, you know, stay, stay Camaro life and go 6th Gen and get rid of the car and stuff like that. So shit, I don't know. I'm still trying to see. I'm still thinking um, what I want to do. I'll keep it a buck with you guys. But if you know me, then you know I'm not just a one plan kind of guy. I don't like having just a plan A, for example. You know what I'm saying? I like to have a plan A, B, C, and D just in case you never know you know what i'm saying plans never plans are always meant to get you know what i'm saying destroyed or edited or tossed in the trash you know and another plan to come up you know what i'm saying so with that being said i always have a backup plan so i've met i hear y'all in the comments i hear what y'all are saying all of your points from both sides are literally you know what i'm saying Good, there's good points for both sides, you know. Um, on one end, if I do get the new car, it's a new platform, new motor, uh, so less miles and tra uh, less miles on the powertrain, so that's the motor and the transmission, uh, a newer body style, a blank canvas, something new to do something different with, um, and just uh, also, you know, a warranty. You know, if I don't feel like jumping into motor work it's insanely fast, you know, if I got something brand new, I can definitely have the warranty um, and, you, and, and use that, you know, and take advantage of that, you know what I mean? So that's definitely some key things pushing me towards getting the new car. But then some things that are pushing me towards keeping this car is, you know what I'm saying? When I sold Hazel, I regretted it. I really never wanted to sell Hazel plan was hey with hazel was to swap the zl1 motor in that car supercharger and all um and, and manual swap the car that was the plan with hazel and i was gonna keep it for a flat minute and that was gonna be the start of the collection but we all know what happened with that if you guys are og ji squad members if not basically quick little summary took it to my uncle to get painted in auto gray as you guys see uh got it back and this is what it sounded like <laughs> so yeah man uncle drained all the oil out the motor motor ended up blowing you're supposed to replace the motor paid him for a new motor the motor he put in the car had a blown head gasket um and some other stuff wrong with it so i ended up just taking it to a different shop and they told me like you know you got a thousand miles before this motor blows too ended up uh getting quoted from carmax for 3k saw this car went ahead and bought it uh, the rest is history as you guys know so with that being said man i really really regretted selling that car um so i feel like i would be in the same boat with this car man because like i want to say my boy versatile speed said and also my girl said i have so much money invested in this car already i have such a big vision in this car already i would feel like i'm depriving not only y'all but myself um from the the potential that i could i could get with this car you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong a new car would definitely be great for the channel it would pull in a bigger audience more people would tune in more because it's a more relevant car to you know our current date which is 2021 you know a 2015 l99 with 100k miles is not going to get as many views as a 20 
21 Jamero Z01 would, you know what I'm saying? Just to give you guys some reference because people are not looking up, you know, 5th gens. They're looking up 6th gens now. They're looking up Corvettes now. The newer Corvettes. They're looking at C8s. They're not looking at C7s no more. Well, a little people are looking at C7s, but more people are not looking at C6s or C5s, you know what I'm saying? So, staying in, 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 in reference with the time would be cool with the new car, but it just goes back to that, that point that I've put so much into this car, worked so hard for this car that I don't want to let it go. You know what I'm saying? This was my first V8. This was my first white car. This was my first uh, car that I went ahead and, and, and did all the carbon pieces to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And there's so much more that I want to do with this car, man. Um, with that being said, uh, some points that, some more points that are holding me to keeping the car is I can say F it, go ahead and cam it and boost it. You know what I'm saying? And then the car will be a completely different animal. You know what I mean? Something completely different to uh, on the channel, having a boosted car versus having an NA car, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, you know, having a fully built car, you know, bottom block, everything, lower end, everything. Um, you know what I'm saying? That would be crazy to, to experience, to record the experience of, you know, uh, how how maintenance is on that car, and how much money it was to do the build and going to the tracks, track days, you know what I'm saying, running the car, doing what I actually want to do. Like, I want to track the car. I want to go see if I can hit 10s. I want to see if I can hit 11s. You know, as you guys know, the basically stock, the car ran 13.5, man. So we can see what it could do right now, Boton, and then see what it would do with the cam, and then see what it does with the um, supercharger on it or procharger, whatever I decide to go with i'm not going to give you guys all the giblets or boosts or i mean not boosts or turbos you know what i'm saying see what the difference is in numbers and, and what the car traps and what the car runs you feel me and just show you guys the process so yeah man there's so many opportunities with both sides you know what i'm saying and i'm torn i'm so torn because i really want to keep this car and, and, and go balls to the wall full send with it i'm talking about rear seat delete I'm talking about like I'm talking about the whole nine bro going crazy you know putting the tire on the rear and having the candy apple reds in the front and using that as the daily setup like bro come on man like that would be nasty welds on the back and the candy apple red dripping in the front come on now with all the carbon come on man you know what I'm saying so yeah man there's so many opportunities so many different things that I can do so many options I can do to you know bring you guys content and not only just that but also you know make my dreams come true as I go because that's literally what I've been doing this entire YouTube journey this entire automotive journey is just making the dreams that I had as a kid come true because I saw that other people could do it so why I couldn't do it too you feel me uh -huh.